Hi, and welcome to Beyond the Book with Miss Mary and Miss Deborah. I'm Miss Mary, and this is Miss Deborah. Today, we're going to be talking about the scientific method. We're going to start off with Miss Deborah is going to read a fantastic book that talks about the scientific method, and then we're going to create our own experiment to go along with the scientific method. That's right. Today, I'm going to be reading Charlotte the Scientist is Squished by Camille Andros. Charlotte was a serious scientist. Protective glasses, a lab coat, and a magnifying glass were her essential scientific equipment, plus a clipboard for her important notes. Charlotte solved problems by conducting experiments that followed the scientific method. And Charlotte had a problem. She was squished. She was squished at the table. She was squished in the tub. She was sometimes even squished on the toilet. It had become impossible to deduct her, her experiments. Her test tubes were taken, her beakers were broken, and her specimens were spoiled. Charlotte needed some space. Time to use the scientific method. Step one, ask a question. How can I get some space around here? Step two, form a hypothesis. Hypothesis, if I can get rid of my brothers and sisters, I will have room to be a real scientist. Step three, test the hypothesis, experiment. She tried an experiment to make everyone disappeared, but it didn't work. She tried another experiment to make herself disappear, but that didn't work either. If she was going to get some space, she would have to go there. The way she is in our little carrot. Yay! Step four, make and record observations. Charlotte was no longer squished at the table. She was no longer squished in the tub. And Charlotte could take as long as she wanted on the toilet. Space was splendid. Step five, draw conclusions. She had all the room she needed to conduct important experiments. Using her protective glasses, lab coat, and magnifying glass, her test tubes were tidy, her beakers looked brilliant, and her specimens were sparkling. Her hypothesis was correct. She finally had room to be a scientist. The only problem was there was no one to talk to at mealtime, no one to blow bubbles with in the tub, and what was Charlotte, Charlotte supposed to do when she ran out of toilet paper? Space was lonely. Back to step two for my new hypothesis. If I can have friends in space, then I won't be lonely and I can be a real scientist. Time for more experiments. Charlotte tried chocolate, but it was too tempting and the balloons kept floating away. And robot bunnies were poor conversationalists. They got ruined in the bathtub and tangled in the toilet paper. Charlotte missed her family and she even missed being squished. So she tried one last experiment. She comes back. She reached a new conclusion. Charlotte didn't need outer space. She just needed her own space. The end. All right, so we have here in the form of stars, some baking soda stars um, that have been frozen. And we are going to see um, how we can make them bubble. So we're gonna go through the scientific method. So our first question, the first step for that, is we are going to see how we can make um, our baking soda stars bubble. Our hypothesis is if we drop liquid on them, they will bubble. Our third part of this is we're going to do an experiment. So um, Miss Mary is going to start um, with our water over here. We have it labeled. And so she's going to take some water. We have these fun little um, beak or um, not beakers. What are they called? Test tubes. No, they're not test tubes either. <laughs> um, droppers. Uh, but you, droppers. But you can also um, pour them on there as well. So let's see what she does with the wa what happens with the water. Oh, it's... It's melting, but not bubbling. No. All right, so that's not gonna work. So let me take our board here, and we're just gonna write an X with the water. All right, let's try oil. Oh, 
Let's see what happens when we do the oil. Nah, nothing. Nothing is, nothing is happening. Certainly not bubbling. All right, so I'm going to put another X for the oil. All right, let's see. We have some vinegar. I hope, I hope this will make some bubbles. Or we're going to have to start all over again with our question. Oh, what's happening? Did we get some bubbleage there? I think we did. So we're going to give ourselves a green check mark here that the baking soda worked. So we went through several steps of the scientific method. We asked a question. We formed a hypothesis. We did some experiments. And we did find out that two liquids don't work, but the third one does with the vinegar and our baking soda stars. And so we observed that that worked. And so in conclusion, we found that um, the vinegar um, reacted with the baking soda and it formed, it bubbled. So not all the liquids worked, but one did. So that was our conclusion. Thanks for joining us on Beyond the Book.